Happy New Month all the way from the palace. Oh, this is Pastor Mrs. Hope Kome, aka daughter of the king. Yes, we are here celebrating the great month, the best month of the king. Yes, I am so excited because if the king was not born, there will be no daughters of the palace. By virtue of the birth of the king, we are in the palace. What a great testimony. We are grateful unto God for this awesome you know, awakening in our hearts saying, I have chosen you and have made you a daughter of the king. We are grateful unto the Lord and I want to say to all of the daughters of the palace, it's our month of thanksgiving. We shall be thanking the Lord God Almighty throughout the month of December, thanking him for life, thanking him for provision, thanking him for guidance, thanking him for everything, whatever. Thank him, thank him, thank him. We shall be thanking him throughout the month of uh, December and we shall say to you, O oh Lord, be all the glory. Of course, we thank him for the months that have passed from January to November. It has been awesome. Begin to you know, count your blessings, count them and name them one after the other and you will be amazed and all of the things that God has done for you throughout the year. Indeed, for us in the palace, it was a year to birth impossibilities. And I don't know about you, but as for me, I was able to give birth to impossibilities, impossible tasks, things I would never dream to do. I was able to do them, and God alone take the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now it's time to decree and declare into the new month, and we just want to take our scriptures as a as, uh, reference scripture for the month is actually Psalm 150. Psalm 150 from verse 1 to the end where it talks about praising the Lord. Praise Him in the sanctuary. Praising Him for everything He has done in our lives. Praising the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance praise. Praise him with the strings, instruments, and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. That is the one that hits me so much. He said, let everything that has breath, everything that has breath, even the plants, praise the Lord. Keep praising Him. And it's going to be a month of praises all through. We are coming up with a, a second hit song here at the palace, celebrating the King, praising Him, singing hallelujah to Him for everything He has done for us. We are not qualified, but He chose us and he qualified us to be daughters of the king. And I'm so grateful unto him for choosing us for such a time as this. So it's going to be a great month for us, thanking him all through the month. And of course, we want to begin to decree into the month as we thank him. We're thanking him in advance. Thank him for those things that you are yet to receive. You know, I, I just give a scenario in case, you know, you are, you are not really in the mood to thank him. I want you to look at this scenario, a king in the palace, and he gives you a promise. He says, I'm going to do this for you. And maybe for a week, two, three weeks, or even a month, the king didn't do it. But you are always going to meet the king every day. Oh, king, I am grateful. Ah, what will my life be without you? You have done so much for me. Thank you so much for the promise you made to me because I know that you are going to do it. You fulfill the promise. And when you keep thanking the king every single day, are you telling me the king is not going to do what he has promised? Of course, he will do that which he has promised because it's about integrity. So the king will always want to keep to his word. And God is awesome. His word says he cannot lie. He cannot lie. He has promised that he will do exceedingly abundantly above that thing that you are imagining in your heart. That thing you are thinking, oh, if, if only I can have this, if only I can do this. That imagination.